So I'm going to quickly fold it and show the important part we teach them, the butterfly. Fold in half and then you open it to make a line. Usually a lot of time when you do origami, you folding the line for guide you. It's not really folding it. This is this one of the things. And then you, you see this is your center. You fold about like here. And then you need to fold another things. And this is the one, a little bit difficult sometimes to teach them, but this is how I, I turn it off. And I will show them when you fold, the white and the color one is almost the same size. And that's the way we show them how to do it. And the point, the one emphasize the point, it has to be there. And you fold it like this. Since you already fold that one, so the things will probably like look like this. And then we pull this thing out like that. Can you see this? This little thing, this is very important, this part. And then we tell them, turn it around. You still have that little line there. Become like this. And this thing come out. And then this is the part we don't, we stop at this point, show them how the things move. This is the mechanic to make the whole thing move. You hold the hands like this, you move. See that? Can you see? It's moving. They were so surprised. Oh, they are wings. Yes, that's what we want to let them know. It's wings. This butterfly's wing, you can make a bed out of it. You can make a butter, uh, the airplane of it. Anything that can move. And that's the mechanic of this thing. And you do it like that. And then we teach them how to make the butterflies. And You can be very fancy. You can be very fancy. It can be very easy. Some little kids are very, very talented. They, they know they can get that. I'm not even that talented to do this one because you have to really, I have to sometimes uh, fold it out and uh, coming back. The little butterfly actually has a little two little things coming out. So that will be since they already did that. So that's thing where it come from from here. So I so, said, okay, then you need to cut that one. So that's why we put this one down again. We cut that thing. And this thing has to be small and can be very long. It can be very short. But make sure do not cut it off. That's what we tell them. Do not cut it off. This has to be connected. And then you tell them that butterfly actually have a body. So you know the wings here, that the body will be here. So we cut, show them how to make a body there. Some butterfly's body is very big, so we just do something like that. And then you open this thing up again, and you see the body, right? Last, we tell them, okay, now you can let those two wings open. So each one has their own wings. The wings will actually open. So that's the last thing we have them to do. And just cut this part. And then they have that. And then at this point, they can do any adjustment they want to do with the butterfly. Yeah. 
some people really, really very talented. They, they just do such a good job today. And that's the, the butterflies moving. And this is the most important. This is the mechanic to make it move. And one of the boy actually think, I can make a bat out of this. Sure you can. They do. They do know that. <laughs>